Muramasa is one of the four ingredients to it. I, I can't remember the name of the uh, It's one of the most powerful swords pre- Actually, more powerful than a lot of the hardware sword.
really hard to replicate it without Terraria. You have Terraria, so you can surround a giant fire. Really. Pretty much. in the bottle, as far as I can tell, it's been replaced and stored in a bottle.
least have one of it. find out how, like, what dies are good for I mean, obviously they die your own. I get that one. Have, um... I only have three slots for die. That seems great, though. And orange, yellow, green. I am the form of blue, but I, I. Kind of one of those things like, well, or like you get three and then you. I'm saying it was three hours, but it was actually like 20 minutes, like literally.
Stops me from being knocked back, which pretty much makes meteor heads. Leave. That one item makes cutting down meteor or mining meteor infinitely. I mean, it's still a little like it's still. Well, you don't watch your ass. Money. from the Pretty much just do everything in a couple of armor out and then go ahead and beat a couple of or then go ahead and give a couple of tries to bosses and Basically what I told you was, yeah, I mean, I'm going to die. The whole point is, 
I, I'm gonna try to get as much of his materials as I can that I can try at least to pick at. I'm gonna get the pick at. Normally it takes like, if you can't beat him, it normally takes one or two tries to get the pick at. But it's not something that it's like, well, I can't beat him, so I'm just gonna get that pick at. I still think it's Baba and Honey have the same mechanic. I will have to check out what Hive is good material. I have no clue what it's I had no until I found it a couple of minutes ago, I had no clue it existed. Although, holy honey. I'm gonna try to see it. Try to go around. Find a way into that hive that doesn't fall. through it. Okay, apparently there's a Queen Bee boss. As far as I can tell, the Queen Bee is an amazing physical a Gatling Gut Stinger Buck. I wonder if I can fight uh, My sword does that too, but that also has the added benefit of I took a lot of
I seem to have learned. Seem that. Doesn't make my armor less useful. that the queen bee is find honey hive and summon her. It doesn't honey hive I don't. Like one of those I really don't want to be oh I just lost that possible loot tick. So she is a she does seem to be a lot of it's like the only brand new and we don't I don't actually know this. Honey actually seems to swimming in honey. I still get the uh, I think it moves even slower in honey. That's 
that whole Valiant Rush seems to be the primary source of damage. Uh, whenever you're fighting a boss, one thing you want to make sure is know what, what your potion is. So you can proc your potions early. Because, like, right now, if I proc my potion, it'll bring me back to full health. And now, like, as you see, I have about another minute before I can use the potion. So, I'm at full health. And it increases the chance that I'm going to live long enough to proc another potion. If I also... Because... I'm trying to think of how to say this without sounding stupid. But... If you if that potion or proccing that potion is what you need to beat the boss, then it's good that you're gonna do the same amount of damage if you proc early compared to proccing late. Unless you have some sort of item that's like, hey, uh, the lower health your health is, the more damage you do, or something like that, then staying at higher health longer is just as equivalent as staying alive longer. I mean, an extra they have to do an extra hundred damage to you either way. But them having to do that extra hundred damage earlier is more or is more beneficial than having to do that extra dam hundred damage to finish it off. Because as you can see, it just procs and I can do it again. So I'm now back at four hundred. My problem last time is I actually didn't have any decent. One benefit of the flare gun that um, I saw it in a wiki or in a wiki page is that if you set someone on fire, they become a they basically become a torch. They get the fire. I'm not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they catch on fire and they take fire damage, which allows them to be seen. There we go. That was actually kind of a little bit scary. Time fell in and started shooting me, and yeah. But let's see here. Nectar summons baby hornet. Keep hands, manage the item. And not really all that. E gun. Has less magic damage. I don't know if I should be like, how is that a thing, or how is that not a thing in real life? That needs to my file for a little while. I'm wondering if he's, is he just a pet, or... So if you remember right, uh, there's a chest over here that we saw because of the queen. Oh, as I was saying though, I, when I was looking at the wiki, one of the things is like burrowing enemies, or enemies that can travel through walls. Like, a lot of bath bosses are capable of traveling through walls, like the guy and, as you saw, apparently, the mom. Like this stuff crap. Because 
I'm kind of hoping this stuff's craftable honey because a bee grenade. Throw a grenade and it unleashes a swarm of bees. Like, how? That is amazing! Like, short of being allergic to bees, I cannot see any way. Yeah, maybe if you're allergic to bees or something, then I can see that kind of being a little bit scary. But, short of that... Like, hey! But you, you know what's cool? Putting bees at people. You know what else is cool? Gatling guns. You know what's really cool? Shooting a Gatling gun that shoots out homing bees. Up such small amounts of mana, too. Five mana per bee. But three bees per five mana. a bunch of NPCs. I tried to look up a couple of them, um, and I couldn't find anything. Like, the all, like, I found a couple of names for NPCs, but, like, I couldn't find re summoning requirements or anything like that. Like, it doesn't worry me so much, like, oh my god, I'm, like, gonna be... aren't getting them or figuring out how to get them, and I'm like, how's that possible? I always thought people were cool. I remember getting all those cheat codes, I'm like, you people aren't hacking games to make you well, some of them, those are cool. Stuff like, god mode, those are put in by the game. Yes, I realize why I just pick up a little like, violet. Um, some people seem to get really I call violet and purple the same. Purple is actually not a color. Kind of like pink. Um, I think it's done not that long ago. Or, no, it was a lot. isn't a color because, like, if you've seen it, it's actually not in the color wheel. It and purple are actually just kind of your brain having problems seeing. So it creates something. Which in itself is kind of an amazement. Kind of makes the brain a little cooler. It's kind of hard to make something. But yeah, apparently what it is, is... Like, like... Well, if it was a color, you'd be able to see it in the color wheels and um, rainbows and stuff. Not a color. Happens is apparently your brain lack of what is this kind of just creates it. There's an idea that since pink isn't actually a real color, that every person. What do you know? Because there's no point of reference, there's no conal. Like with red, we can look into your eyes, we can see how your eye structure is, and be like, okay, you're capable of seeing red. That's how we know certain animals are colorblind, and certain animals are colorblind in certain colors. Because we can see their eye structure's capability of seeing those colors. Now, my red can be your blue, uh, there's nothing in science to say it's not. 
I'm kind of hoping it's not, because that really weird. I wear a nice red suit, and everybody else is seeing it as what I see blue as, and I think blue looks like crap. Well, actually, I kind of like blue. Red and blue are kind of up there. Kind of one of those colors that can totally look like crap in the one row. I'm wearing a nice blue, or a nice red. I think that, like, I'm wearing those, but you see it as what I think is green. I think green looks crappy. I mean, that'd just be like, that's bad. I'm looking up this little bee that I have flying around. I kind of want to know something about it. Have a time on it and all that stuff. I'm just having trouble finding the page.
trying to remember what they're called. Actually, a little weird because Bilethorn, like, yeah, I have a B gun. Do I Bilethorn? I mean, Bilethorn's great because you can shoot. It's amazing, but the B gun, it's a B gun. Not amazing about that. I'm a little bit... It's amazing. Without me. The awesome. But I mean, it's just... It's hilarious. It's not so much that I'm like, Oh my god, I can't get over this fast. It's just that... I mean, watch them. It's just hilarious watching them track down something. Like a cartoon. Like, you know that those cartoons you used to watch when you were a kid? And like, somebody would be... be while the bee was chasing them, like they'd go to jump underwater, and the bees would wait for them. Yeah, it's kind of like that. At least that's not what it looks like to me, and that's what it reminded me of, and that makes it hilarious. That it is still kind of adorable to some of the bees go after a uh, hell. Poor, helpless, innocent slime. Like it, it's kind of one of those things. Like I think that the vile form is physically, like physically better, but I think that the novelty and the Hilarity of the bee gun make it better and more perfect. Example though, bees apparently don't work underwater. A little bit sad. But it is understandable. Actually, apparently, kind of a thing. Hell, did I just drain a freaking...
as well that water's coming from. That water must have moved. your inventory and just sitting on the ground for X amount At the same time, I, I could be wrong and minor items might disappear. Um, it's just like major items don't really seem to disappear. Like money, you, you die and you come back a couple of di like lives later having forgotten you've been there. Money's still there waiting for you. But small things like, um, well, I killed this, uh, this monster. Ed and got loot. That loot's not there. Where I got like those bones from those skeletons aren't there. That that doesn't seem to be so huh. That pretty much contradicts everything I do.
lot of times you die over stupid. Half the time you're racing back. Give two shits about going back for an item, or like, oh my god, I'm I'm like busy farming this jungle, and then I die. You're not going back so much for um freaking well, jungle spores are so. Well, hell, if I mine a bunch of them, y'all seen it a couple of times in this place. Um, I die? Okay, that's good by I have no problem dying when I've gotten my stuff. Yeah, it's just easier to ask her in. Right now, I'm actually... Like, I don't even know if I'm like kind of an idiot and not understanding the fact that I keep saying I need to go back home and I'm out of it. And that was on me. Alchemy, uh, like chin making and stuff. At the stage, I don't actually need it yet. I might be useful when I go to the wall of flesh, but it's not necessary for the wall of flesh. I killed him without potions or anything. Armor and molten, like, I think it was just molten armor, molten sword, and B shard. Oh, it was Necros armor. And a, uh, I just sat there shooting at him with, uh, whatever bullet I could buy.
Okay, I'm gonna end this and reset.